The purchase module in Odoo 16 helps you to configure the vendor price list. Now, what are these vendor price list? So inside this vendor price list, you can easily configure a set of prices for a set of vendors for a particular period of time and for a specific product. Okay, so you can implement it inside a purchase order. Now, after doing or after creating a vendor price list for a particular product, if you go to the product and see inside the purchase tab of the product, you can find that particular vendor has been added. Okay, so you can easily create a purchase order with that vendor and that price which you set in the price list will be taken in the order lines. Let's move forward and see how it's done. Welcome back to the video. Okay, so now let's open the purchase module and see how to configure the vendor price list. So here's the purchase, I'm opening it. And the first thing you have to do is go to the configuration. And under the configuration menu, you have the vendor price list. So open that. And here you can see all the pre-created price list and all. Let's create a new one. So click on create button here. And here I'm going to provide the vendor. Uh, I'll choose Deco. And here you can set the vendor product name as well as the vendor product code. So if you want, you can uh, like provide the vendor product name and product code. So the vendor's product name will be used when printing a request for the quotation. So keep empty to use the internal one. So I'm keeping it empty because I'm going to use the internal one. And here you have the delivery lead time. I'm setting the delivery lead time to two days. So what is this delivery lead time? So it's basically the time taken to complete a delivery. Okay, the time taken for the uh, ordered product to reach to you. Okay, that's the deliver, delivery lead time. And here under the price list section, you have product. So here I'm choosing the product. Um, I'll choose a caustic block screen. Okay, and here if there is any product variant which you want to include inside this price list, you can choose that as well. So right now I'm not choosing anyone. And here you can set the quantity of the product. So I'm setting the quantity to 15. And the unit price I'm setting it to 50. Okay. And here you can set the validity as we said before uh, for a specific product and also for a specific uh, period of time. Okay, you're setting the vendor price. So here I'm specifying the start date as well as the end date. And here comes the company section. So by default, the logged in company will be taken. So here you can see we have logged in as Cybrosis Technologies and the company has come as Cybrosis Technologies itself. So I'm going to save this. And then let's go to the products and check. So here under the products, I'm going to open the acoustic block screen. So here, let's search for the product. So here it is. I'm opening that. And under the purchase tab, you can see Deco has come. The quantity is 15, which we uh, provided right now while creating the price list. Here you can see the price which we provided, which is 50 rupees and also the delivery lead time. Okay, so after that, now this has come automatically inside the product, right? Now let's go to the orders and create an RFQ for this product. So click on create and here under the vendors, let's choose Deco Edit. And next thing which you have to do is add the product which we specified right now inside the vendor price list. So the product is a caustic block screen. Okay, so here's the product and here you can see by default the quantity has come which is 15 and the unit price is 50. So this, this has come as we mentioned inside the vendor price list. So this is how you implement the vendor price list inside the RFQ. Now let's complete this process by confirming the RFQ to a purchase order. So it's now a purchase order. I'm going to receive the product validate it so let's click on apply that's done now go back and create bill so here is the create bill i've clicked on create bill and this is the bill let's confirm the bill so before confirming it you have to specify the gst treatment as well as the bill date so here I'm, i've given the gst uh, gst treatment as consumer now let's confirm it okay let's proceed with the payment register payment create payment and here you can see the ribbon has come which says in payment now let's go back to the purchase order okay so you can see one vendor bill created and one receipt so this is how you do the uh, i mean you configure the vendor price list and implement that inside a purchase order
that's it that's all we have for you in this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next video